Julia Manchester is a national political reporter for The Hill, and she joins us now. Good morning, Julia. Good morning, Mitch. Thank you for having me. So we just talked about that plan. I find it very interesting, the, the Democrats becoming the party of law and order. Is that possible? <laughs> Yeah, look, this is what Democrats are really aiming to do. And this is, of course, after 2020, when we heard so many calls from progressive Democrats to defund the police. And now I think you're getting the uh, party's establishment and the more moderate Democrats really trying to reclaim uh, that narrative and flip it on its head, if you will, and very much try to um, promote police funding, for example. We know that for months, even over a year now, Republicans have been hammering Democrats over rising crime in cities like Philadelphia, like Washington, D.C., like Chicago. So this is very much Democrats sort of trying to push back against that. We can also expect to hear President Biden talking about and calling out Republicans like Marjorie Taylor Greene, for example, who have talked about defunding the FBI and uh, really launched some verbal attacks on the Justice Department. I think they're very much going to he, he the president is going to tie that into his narrative as well. Well, also, Abigail Spanberger, who's a pretty moderate Democrat uh, from Virginia, she had said we need to never, ever mention defund the police again in some comments that were reported after a, a discussion that was behind closed doors between Democrats. And this is kind of following that message. But how does the progressive wing react to this? Because it seems like President Biden has been trying to walk the line between moderates and progressives in his party. And this is definitely a more moderate Democratic move that might anger the progressive wing. It might anger the progressive wing. However, I would say that the number of progressives who have made critical comments about police and you know defunding the police, law enforcement, that kind of a thing, those voices have grown quieter. We've seen them focus on other issues as this um, idea of supporting police departments and working to um, lower crime in a number of major American cities has become a priority. So obviously, yes, I think they will be unhappy. But, you know, talking to Democrats and those in the Democratic establishment here in Washington, a lot of them say, look, we're not as concerned about this message of defund the police anymore because it's not as strong as it used to be maybe one or two years years ago. I think their priority now is really pushing back on that Republican narrative because you are, are definitely going to hear Republicans uh, doing that. And Julia, this is a proposal for b a budgetary policy, essentially. And so it's going to take approval from Congress. How likely is it that the president's plan here becomes law before the end of this current congressional session? And, I, and as a side question, I'm kind of curious how Republicans would argue against it since they have been saying we need to fund police as opposed to defunding them. And this plan does just that. Yeah, look, I think there's definitely going to be discussion and debate between Republicans and Democrats over this plan. You know, in terms of what's in it, though, we do know that Biden, for example, will be talking about um, gun control and trying to keep guns out of the hands of criminals, uh, really imposing that, those gun control restrictions and laws. That might be something Republicans would push back against. They would have their own method of trying to keep guns out of the hands of crim criminals. I don't think they'd want to go the, uh, the Democratic gun control control route, if you will. So definitely a long way to go. And I think there are parts of the plan that will get some Republican pushback. Uh, Julie Manchester, thank you very much for joining us this morning. Thank you. Thank you for watching. Go to NewsNationNow.com to find NewsNation on your television provider. And don't forget to click the red subscribe button below to get more of NewsNation's fact-driven, unbiased coverage.